can't get more authentically American and more authentically Missouri than a corn cob pipe. Right here in Washington, Missouri is where the first pipes were made commercially. We average about 3,500 pipes that we ship a day, which ends up being about 700,000 pipes per year. The whole process of making a corn cob pipe really starts with planting the corn. The next step is wait for the fall, harvest it, we start shelling it, we will bring the cobs over here to the plant and store them for about two years. The first step is the cobs will they go down in chutes where they're put into a gang saw and sawed into sections. The next step is to drill the tobacco hole. And it depends on what pipe we're going to make with it. The pipes that we sell the most of, well, we put it on a turning machine where you can put several of the cobs on it that shapes the bowl into whatever shape we're making that day. Other pipes, they have to be turned by hand on a lathe. What we do after we have shaped the bowl, we will bring the bowls up to the second floor and put them in what look like barrels, but they have slats in them. So we turn those for several minutes to get all the dust, the chaff, the broken pieces out of it. Then what happens depends on whether that's going to end up being one of our natural bowls or whether it's going to be one of our filled bowls where we fill it with plaster. So it's coated with plaster of Paris, let it dry overnight at least, if not two days. The next step is we will take that and sand that rough plaster of Paris down to make it smooth. Then we'll take the cob and literally put it in old cement mixers and just put just a little bit of lacquer in there to coat the bowl. And then they're ready to have the stem hole drilled into them and take it into what we call the finishing room where the rest of it is assembled. So once the pipe is assembled, we're ready to put it into whatever type of packaging it's going into. And since we sell, it's not just to individuals, but wholesale, and so it depends on who's buying it, how, how it gets packaged. And we get asked that question a lot, why a corn cob pipe? A lot of pipe smokers that consider the corn cob pipe, even though it's probably the least expensive pipe you can buy, they consider it the best. They are a very cool smoking pipe, which pipe smokers prefer. And the second thing is they like the social aspect of things. And I think pipe smoking is one of those things that there's a great social aspect to it. Whenever you mention Missouri Meerschaum to any pipe smoker, they know who, what you're talking about. They know you're talking about a corn cob pipe. And with Missouri in the name, you know, they know that it came from Missouri.